Yoko. Cool. Uh, yeah, so I've got the fender on here, guys. I've got it tentatively positioned. I'm pretty happy with the, the line here. So we've got tight here. But I had to split the difference because it was riding high on the headlight. It's all about splitting the difference, man. Right? Not going to pass Suzuki's factory gap check, but it's reasonable. I can get my door open now. Let's put it that way. <laughs> yeah, so uh, I've just got to go about plastic welding the cracks in the, uh, the front end here. We'll see how that goes. Yeah, so that's it for the plastic welding on the inside here guys and this wee tab here was broken as well not broken but cracked nearly broken out and uh i don't claim you know much about plastic welding but it's a thermal plastic and of course you're just trying to, you know restore the integrity of the piece here right let's take this off See the crack there? I'm not sure if the camera's picking it up too well, but crack turn right there. That, you know, you try to close the tape up, close the crack up and then tape it up so when you plastic welding it on the inside it's as closed as possible. So try and flex up that here for you. Flex. Anyway. I'm not sure if you can see that guys, you can kind of see the Anyway, I'm going to call that good enough for me, man. The, the car is uh, 14 years old now, guys, right? So uh, I'm not looking for perfection. You know, there's, there was already a couple of imperfections in the paint. This was painted once before. I told you this story, getting it crushed a long time ago. So it was it was no perfect then, and it's certainly no perfect now. But Let's see if I can try and spread the crack a wee bit by bending it. Uh, can you see a wee bit? But, hopefully, you know, I'm more worried about the paint actually shedding now that it's been breached than, than the crack. It's no structural, of course. It's just trying to make things look nice. Okay. So, just for the sake of comparison, there's the gap on the undamaged side. The door gap. The gap up at the window. So, uh, yeah, it's not bad. Like I said, I had to split the difference we bet on a few things, but it's reasonable. Not bad. I'm fairly happy with that. The car's filthy. We're in the middle of the winter, of course, guys, right? So, uh, yeah, the color match seems pretty good, I guess, in my garage at night under the artificial lighting. It's hard to tell, but so far, so good. I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, Well, I guess the plastic welding must be somewhat of a success since I'm struggling to find the crack there is there. Perhaps you can see it uh, in the right angle. Yeah, pretty happy with that. Hopefully it doesn't do too much flexing and it'll actually stay in one piece. Unfortunately, it chipped a wee bit of paint when the fender was damaged, but I guess if that's all I have to put up. Well, it's not perfect anyway. As I said, there's a couple of paint chips here and there, right? For, you know, the hood has got some dings and stuff. The car's 14 years old. Who cares? I'm not looking for perfection. As I said, guys, I just want half respectable. You know, uh, that gap there could have been a wee bit tighter. I'm not too happy with that. But I might play with things as time goes by. I just need the car in operation for tomorrow. Expecting a wee bit of weather. And uh, anyway, I'll leave it at that, guys. So thanks for joining me on this... Uh, uh, endeavor to fix things when i got an unexpected uh, christmas gift on uh, christmas day and uh, the guy who actually done this to my car what goes around comes around man that's it boys
Cheers.